Hello gamers, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I went and make a basics beginning guide for people to kind of know what to do because the game doesn't really explain what you should do. And then also we just sold 250,000 copies of Core Keeper within the past two weeks. That is insane. Now this game's made by just a small team and uh, they're doing an absolute fantastic job and it's getting so big that I think eventually this game will be able to rival um, Terraria, Stardew Valley, and it's going to be up there in popularity. So I do see a big future in this game, and I would like to cover it and help you guys out. Now, when you first log into the game, you're going to be able to customize your character however you want. And then the background, you just choose if you want to focus your character on being a fisherman, explorer. None of this really matters. It only matters in like the first hour of the game. So your running skill might be slightly higher or your mining skill. But what you want is pretty much you're choosing what you want to start out with. So I'm going to pick a miner because I want my copper pickaxe and some food. But if you want a chef, you can have a cooking pot and eight mushrooms. I don't recommend it. A copper hoe, watering can, you know, whatever you want, just pick. I'm going to pick the miner because the first thing we're going to do when we log in is we're going to be mining for some copper. Now, while the intro is going on, if you enjoy this video, you find any of these tips helpful, please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I super, super appreciate it. Now, when you first log in, you're going to see this uh, item here. It is the core. And then you have a bunch of roots all around it. That's how you get your wood. There are no trees or anything like that just yet. You just mine the, or you just hit these roots and uh, it'll give you wood. Now, every time you get a new item, it'll show at the bottom left hand of your screen. And then just to get an idea of the HUD, you have your health up here, 100 out of 100. You have your food, which is 70 out of 100. And speaking of food, we are not full. So we're going to go to our food ration here. It gives us plus 12. If we eat that, it's going to give us a buff. Plus 5% increased damage from being well fed. Underneath this um, food bar is where all of your buffs and debuffs are going to be. So make sure you hover over them and read them as you as you get more advanced foods, it'll give you better stuff like more health or armor, stuff like that. You have your map over here on the right. Click M and then you can scroll in and out. Now, this is a pretty large area, but it's only this tiny dot. Like this map is massive. If I scroll out, it is all of this. There are several different biomes. You have a rock biome, clay biome, a grassy biome, all that. But we're not going to get into that just yet. Over here at the tab, you have your hot bar, you have your crafting, the beginning stuff you can craft, and then you have your armor, your offhand, your backpack so you can expand your inventory, two ring slots and a necklace. These are going to give you some passive buffs as well. Now, the first thing we want to do is mine up or hit all of this uh these roots so we're gonna get all of the wood here and then i will show you what to do with it all right we didn't get all of it but we got enough so now you want to go to your inventory and we have a few options here so we can craft three torches with just one piece of wood so let's get a couple of those we already have a copper pickaxe so we don't need this wood pickaxe the wood one is 15 to 17 melee damage that's how much you damage an enemy so you're looking at mining damage. The wood down there is plus 15. The copper is plus 43. So we want to keep this. We can make a shovel. This allows us to dig up stuff. And then we also can get a basic workbench. So we're going to place the workbench down. We're going to click on it. And we opened up all these new items. We have copper, copper tools over here. We have a furnace, a chest, um, more stuff to expand what we can craft. And then some basic building stuff. The only thing I recommend getting over here right now is a couple of these wood bridges. So we're going to get those and that's just in case we encounter a gap in the world or some water. So now that we have that, we can light up this area and we see that there are these three things here. These are where you put the like tributes from the bosses. The first three bosses that you kill, you're going to place them in these. So you go up here, you click on it. And you'll put his artifact right there. And you do that for all three of these. I'm not going to spoil that. If you want to know more about that, I have a video in the description of this video. Check it out. So now the next thing we want to do is harvest up all of this wood and all of these mushrooms. You can just hit it with your hand or a torch or whatever. And uh, I will see you in a second. All right, there we go. We have harvested that. We have nowhere else we can go except through the walls. So if you see these sparkles here, these mean there are ores, and if you see smaller ones that are moving upwards pretty fast, that means you found water. So these are slowly, like, uh, sparkly. 
those are going to be ore and since we are in the dirt biome it's probably going to be copper so we are going to go and uh, harvest all that stuff it is hard to see you can put some torches behind you and as you put torches behind you it's going to light up the map and you'll be able to see your path so that's also how you find your way back so let's head up this way and get um this now obviously as you level up your tools and stuff you'll be able to break these a lot easier this is copper ore. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a pink with some green. And you can use a wood pickaxe or a copper or any of the pickaxes to harvest it. So we're going to pick that up. We just unlocked copper ore. But before we head back to our base, we want to grab a few more. So we're going to head over here to these uh, sparkles. There we go. We actually found a large node of them. So that's actually really nice. We could keep going and get some more. I see some up here. But we are going to head back to our base now because we need to smelt these. So go back to your workbench and then craft this furnace. It costs 20 dirt walls. All of these walls here are dirt walls. So you should already have that. So I'm going to craft one of those. And we are going to put it down. We're going to stick it there. And then we're going to take our copper ore right here. We're going to put it inside there. And it's going to start smelting for us. You don't need any coal or anything like that. There's actually no fuel, which is super nice because I know that can get really frustrating in a lot of the games. So while we have this smelting, we need to decide what we want to do with the copper. If you look here, you can make some more tools, but we don't need a hoe right now. We already have a shovel. You don't really need a sword just yet. What you do need is the salvage and repair station. It is five wood and five copper. That's going to allow us to repair our pickaxe. If you look at this bottom bar right here, it, we've already lost like 20% durability. Once this breaks, you can't use it anymore, but you can repair it. So we obviously don't want to downgrade to a wood pickaxe, and we don't want to use more copper to create a new copper pickaxe. We want to repair it. So let's get our five bars. We're going to head over here. We're going to craft the salvage and repair station, and we're going to put it down. So now that we have that there, we can repair this pickaxe if we have a salvage part. So to get that, you're going to need to salvage something that'll give you a part. So we're going to craft a couple of these wood pickaxes. They are just four wood each. Super cheap to make. We're going to craft about five of them. I'm going to go right here. We're going to place them inside the salvage. We're going to hit this button here, salvage. Now we have five scrap parts. So now we can put our copper pickaxe in there. Click repair. Click on it and that's how you use the salvage and repair. Now one thing to know, I'm sure this is going to get fixed later. You actually don't have to put your pickaxe or the item you want to repair there. You can just click on repair and then click it in your inventory. As long as you have enough scrap parts, you should be fine. All right, now that we have that and we have our pickaxe repaired, it's time to just keep expanding. Now you may uncover secrets in this game. You may un uncover like another cave or a larger area. There's lots of loot to get in this game. And uh, let's make some more torches here just to light our path. And see, we actually broke into another cave now. So we can just keep going and keep going. Don't really worry about getting lost because eventually, like, all you have to do is mine. Even if you're all the way up here, you just have to mine your way back to the core. And you can see the direction of it at all times. So we have a little bit of copper here. And then now we just came across some slime. So you can get your shovel and just right click on it and you can pick that slime up. If you see that slime on the ground, then enemies can spawn there. So you might not want it directly around your base unless you're making a mob farm. We also have this plant here. You can use this glow tulip to decorate, to provide light. You can eat it or you can uh, cook it in the cooking pot. So we're going to wait on that until we find another item to cook. All right, as you see, we just got a new talent point available in mining. So you want to open your inventory. Click on this star at the top right here, and our mining is at five now. The reason this leveled up a lot faster is one, because we're actually mining, we're doing that more than anything else. And two, we picked the miner skill, so it already gave us three points. Once you get to five points in your mining, five out of a hundred, you get one point, and then you can put that in your skill tree here. So the way this works is you have to get this top one to five, and then move down, and then get another one to five, and then move down. So you can have 100 points total to max this out. And we're going to put our first point in this one right here. And it says it gives us plus 2% mining damage. So we click on that. And we now see the skill is 1 out of 5. Our next point that we put into it will be 4 out of... Or it'll be 4% mining damage. 
But remember, you have to get your mining skill to 10 before you get another point. So every five points here, you get one point here. So you do that for running, fighting, everything you do in the game, every action will give you experience. And then this white bar on the bottom, that shows you how much progress you have and how much you need to make to level this up. So my f I have five points in mining and I just barely have some in the next level. Once this goes all the way up, it'll change to six and then restart. And then once I get this number to 10, I can get a skill point. I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit confusing, but I, I feel like you'll get used to it. So we've been digging just a little ways. Um, this is our core. This is our main base. I've just been digging up here, not even that far. And we already found one of the lootable items. Um, like I said, there are chests, there's just random things. And there's also some enemies as you get deeper as you go. And you may just come across this really crazy stuff. Um, I've actually never seen this on my main world. So that's super cool. It is a mysterious doll set. Now it's a valuable and anything that says valuable on it is meant for selling. So you don't have to worry about it. You can either sell it or decorate it around your place. And when you find these cool places here, you can just uh, hit them too and pick up the tiles, pick up the rug. You can take the chest, the torches. You can just take everything. So we're going to take all the stuff and head back to our base. It is time for us to start cooking. Um, so we're going to take all of our copper bars. We're going to put that in there since we mined up. We have 17 copper on us and we're going to head to our workbench. We need two wood, which we have, and we have six copper or we need six copper bars. So while that is smelting, we're going to craft this copper hoe and we're going to do a little bit of a gardening. And the reason we're doing this right now, not exactly because we need food, but we are running out of wood. And if you don't want to have to go and explore and try and find some out in the world, you can actually make your own. Take your hoe, you right click and then you put your seed there. So I found this root seed. You find seeds from killing mobs, from mining. Just everything you do in the game might have a chance of dropping something. To get wood in this game, you need a root seed. So we're going to right click, put that there, and now we need a watering can. So we're going to head back over here. The watering can is four copper bars. We should have enough by now. We do. We're going to craft our watering can. And now we need water. So we have to find a water source. So we look at our map. We don't see any blue so far. So let's try to head this other direction here and see if we can find some water we're just going to go straight down i actually spot some water right here get some more torches going the reason i know there's water here is because see how these sparkles are real slow kind of like i was talking about earlier that's an ore if you see these tiny ones that kind of move straight up really fast that's a water source lucky for us it's actually pretty dang close to our main base so we're going to mine our way over there and uh Try to funnel some water back. So our pickaxe broke on us. That's sad. Uh, oh, we've actually encountered our first enemy. It's a slime. These ones won't attack you unless you attack them. Now, since our pickaxe broke, we could craft a wood one for four wood. But since these are dirt walls, you could also just punch them. It takes a little bit longer. Now that we have some uh, water here, we can right click. We can fill up our watering can. Or if you want to bring this all the way back to your base, you can just take a shovel Hold down right click on it and you'll dig up the ground so it's going to take whatever you dig up so we just crafted a wood pickaxe we're going to mine a straight line all the way back to our base so here's our water source we're going to go all the way up and i will show you what to do next there we are now we're going to take our shovel and we're just going to dig up this ground all the way back to our base and the water is going to follow us that way we don't have to keep running all the way over here to get water And that's how you get access to water. So the main source is here. We have brought it all the way up here. Now, anytime we need to get water, we can just right click on that. And then we are going to water our uh, plant right there. So after a few minutes, this uh, um, wood plant is going to get bigger and then it's going to start expanding. I actually don't recommend putting it right here near your base. I recommend digging out a big square because one of these wood plants are going to expand very largely. And as long as you don't break this middle one, you can just keep harvesting the wood off of the root and then just do that over and over. And that's how you have a wood farm. And you can do that same method with any of the other plants or, or excuse me, any of these seeds that you come across. 
Next up, we are going to learn how to do cooking. So we're going to craft our cooking pot. It is two wood and six copper bars. We are going to put it... Uh, let's just put it next to these items. You're going to click on it. And also, again, no coal or anything. You just put two food items. So we have a glow tulip here. And we have some mushrooms. These mushrooms are good for a base. And it'll kind of combine the stats. And it'll turn it into a better food for us. So if you don't know what food to put in there, you'll obviously learn over time. But you can kind of just shift click the items in your inventories. And uh, if it puts it in there, then it's food. If not, then you can't do anything with it. So we put that in there. And now we have a mushy tulip salad. It gives us plus 19 food, plus 4 glow for 2 minutes, and plus 4.2 health every 20 seconds. So we're going to test out the glow. Let's go over to a darker area. Our food is at 47 out of 100. We're going to eat it. And then boom. Uh, this is going to be lit up for a while. Our food went up. And then we have plus 4.2 health every 20 seconds. And then we have our, our glow for 2 minutes. So that's nice. It's nice to have different foods. will give you different buffs. And uh, now you can just go back to mining. We just hit sand. Sand is just like on Minecraft. You can hit it with even a torch. And you just one hit it. So it's super nice. If you want any types of the ground, like I said, just use your shovel so we can get sand ground now if we want. So next, let's expand more because I see some wood. I see some light, some mobs. We don't have a sword yet, so I don't recommend fighting this stuff just yet. But let's make our path over there for now. Put a torch down and let's go craft a sword. The sword it just needs to be crafted at this. Um, we need six copper bars. We already have a few more left. Let's get the sword. We're going to replace that there. We're going to run back over here and we're going to start fighting some of these slimes. And it'll also level up our fighting skill. So here is our first slime. You just want to hit it once and back up. It'll jump, hit it again, back up, and then just do that till he died. He gave us a heartberry seed. So now we can grow the uh, heartberries, which are really useful because later you're going to probably make a lot of these heart berries. And you're also going to make a lot of the bomb peppers. Because you combine them and you make a burrito. That is really, really good early game. So let's go ahead and dig up some of this wood. And we're also going to get our sword out and just finish off these guys here. So you don't want to take too much damage like that. See, just two hits and we're almost dead. And, uh, oh, we also got some slime. You'll use these later on in the game. You don't need them so much for now. When you come across things like these, these have a chance of dropping. See, we got a peasant hat and a crude bomb. You always want to break this stuff. It looks like our inventory is full, which is a shame because I see a fishing rod there. So let's take out this slime real quick. And you can delete some items that you think you're not going to need. Now, obviously, you're going to want to keep most of this early game. We have a chest here to put our stuff in. I'm not going to use these paintable floors or this rug. And uh, this is actually some food here. So we're going to eat that real quick. And we actually have our first hat. We have the peasant hat. It gives us plus two armor, plus three percent dodge chance. You can click this button here to check your stats. We have 105 health. 2 armor, 3 dodge chance. This will be whatever you're holding in your hand. That'll show your melee and then our mining damage. Obviously, the higher mining damage, the easier it is to break walls. And we can just go through here and dig up the stuff. We got some fiber, which is be for crafting. Um, there's more boxes here. Go ahead and grab all of that stuff. We got water, uh, wood. Like, there's just so much stuff in the game. And uh, that's pretty much it for the, the beginner's tip. Like, you just keep progressing through the game. I think all of those things will help you really get started. One thing I you do need to know is kind of how the map works. And when I say that is this first initial area, like imagine there's a big circle here. Let me get away from that. Imagine there is a big circle here. This is going to be the dirt biome. You can tell by the color on the map. And then eventually you're going to hit like a pinkish color biome. That is the clay biome. That's where you're going to find 10. 10 is going to be the next tier of tools that you're going to need to unlock. So once you get done messing around in the start area, uh, mining up copper, getting a full set of copper gear, I recommend going and getting some tin. Uh, you'll have two sides. So you'll either hit a bunch of rocks. That will be the stone biome. And that's where you get iron. That is the third one. So if you, if you mine a certain direction and you hit stone, 
I recommend turning around and going the other way. Hit the clay biome, work your way up the 10 gear, get the new um, tools and all of the uh, new... So if you go over here to your workbench, we have a copper anvil and a 10 workbench. You want to craft the copper anvil because it's going to give you copper, um, the access to copper armor. And then that's what you're going to want to take into the 10 area because the 10 is a lot more dangerous mobs and it's just not a good idea unless you progress. So you just slowly progress through the game, get all your copper stuff, slowly work on 10 and then just keep working your way up. As you unlock these benches, it'll unlock a whole new stuff. And eventually, it'll get to electronic stuff. You can have automated farms where you don't have to harvest these resources for yourself. Um, it's just really, really handy. You'll get stuff to be able to teleport yourself around them, like back home without having to walk all the way back. You get mine carts. You can create your own paths. Like, there's so much to do in this game. There's so much to explore. And I don't want to spoil it for you. So I think all those tips there will help you get started. That's kind of the basics of the game. You create your base as well. So one more thing. Go over here. Craft some wood floors if you want. Or you can wait until the uh, stone biome. That's what I would do. And then you can just kind of decorate your house. You can turn this into a house. You can change the walls to whatever you want. And eventually your place is going to look like this. So without spoiling too much, this is my main world. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I need to eat some food. But you have merchants that you can get. You have um, just all kinds of new tools and stuff like that. You have mine carts. You can make mob farms like I have over here. You have those trophies here. You have a farm. Like there's so much to do. Um, this is my Among Us farm over there. I got a mob farm going on. So yeah, this game can be so massive. There's so much to do, and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.